How can converting PCM to DSD be better? That's a great question, and it comes from Bill in Irwin, Pennsylvania. Bill writes, how can converting PCM recordings to DSD like you do in your DAX improve the sound? That would mean that DSD is not recording what is contained on the PCM. I would think you can only improve the sound by eliminating or adding something to the PCM initial contents. Does it have to do with the device playing the DSD versus PCM? Bingo. Yep. So PCM is pulse code modulation, and that's the, the ubiquitous. It's everywhere. I mean, when you talk about digital recordings, you're basically talking about PCM. And I've talked over these last few days and over the last few years about DSD. And DSD is PDM, pulse density modulation, where PCM, pulse code modulation, is the norm. So DSD, pulse density modulation, is about as close to analog as you will ever get in the digital domain. It is, it is almost indistinguishable from live sound. I mean, done properly, I really can't tell the difference. And, and even the best listeners I know cannot tell the difference between a DSD recording uh, and the feed from that microphone or whatever you're listening to. You switch back and forth. You can't hear it. Not so true with PCM. So, and that's why we're basing our new studio with Gus Skinnis that, uh, as at this date, is still unnamed. But these <laughs> these uh, videos don't always run in order, so maybe we already got a name for the studio and I'm already out of order. I don't know. You're out of order! <laughs> um, so, where were we? Well, so, why do we switch to uh, everything inside of our DAX, the direct stream DAX, whether it's the, the uh, senior or the junior or whatever direct stream product, that Ted Smith, who loves DSD and, you know, just ev the world should be DSD, and I agree. Um, but there's, anyway, that's why we're basing our studio on it. Um, everything is converted to DSD. It's upsampled, then converted to DSD. And the, everything is preserved in that process. So it's not like we're adding something or changing something. The difference, as you suspect, is when you have a DSD signal and then you convert that to analog. The process is so simple, it, it just sounds better. So to convert DSD to analog, it's pretty much already there. All you need to do is just run it through a low-pass filter, a capacitor. Just, just roll off the, the very top of it and you have your analog. If you look at a DSD signal, in, on a scope, you can see the music, you can see the sine waves, you can see, uh, you see music. If you look at PCM, you don't see music. You see computer bits. So PCM has to be converted to, uh, through a complex process um, that, well, we don't need to get into it, but it, uh, by a very different process that uh, is, is very unanalog-like. DSD, when it's converted, that conversion process is very analog-like. It is a very analog medium. So converting PCM to DSD before we change it over to analog is a great practice because when you do that, you are already almost at analog. So the last thing I'll say about that is um, if you record something in analog in the first place, whether it's tape or vinyl, uh, or even DSD, once that has that analog sound captured within that medium, then converting it the other way to PCM isn't so bad because the essence has been captured and we can then reproduce it. And because we can make, it's easy to show, we can make CDs of analog, of DSD that sound reasonably close, not as good as the original, but reasonably close, where you can't do the opposite. It's, you can't make a PCM recording and play it back uh, and have it sound close to analog. Just doesn't work. So anyway, hope that's not too confusing. 
And I do appreciate the question, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.